Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? There was uh, another change on uh, the Saints coaching staff. And by the way, uh, hat tip Nick Underhill, who was, a get, who was on with T-Bob and Hester um, every Tuesday on OTB. This was Nick Underhill on Tuesday morning talking about a, a potential uh, staff change with the Saints. He comes in and Doug Marone gets fired. So, I mean, I think that, that speaks volumes to kind of yeah. what he's going to be empowered to be able to do. And, you know, I think there's going to be another staff change, too, within some of the guys that are, that are left. That makes um, sense. Yeah, I mean, look, you kind of got to get your own guys in there, sort of. Um, the tight ends coach Clancy Brown was with with him in in um, Denver, I believe. So I wouldn't be surprised if he sticks around in that role. But like, I I wouldn't be surprised if there's one more staff change on offense. Okay, I wouldn't be <laughs> Nick. I wouldn't be surprised if there was one more staff change on offense. Well, that staff change came. Actually, there were two, but um, the the big one that certainly Nick was alluding to there is Ronald Curry. So Ronald Curry came to the Saints as the receivers coach. He moved into the quarterbacks coach position. And then was interviewing for the OC job, but as we know, the Saints have hired Clint Kubiak, and so Ronald Curry won't be retained. Um, for what it's worth, Jonathan Jones of CBS um, tweeted that, and this was uh, earlier this morning, Ronald Curry will be the next quarterback's coach for the Bills. Uh, he notes the Tar Heels legend goes to Buffalo to work with OC Joe Brady and Josh Allen. So um, Curry and Joe Brady worked together with the Saints in 2017-2018. So there was familiarity there. And this allows Curry to continue to be a quarterback's coach instead of what might be perceived as a regression back to the offensive line job um, with... Uh, excuse, I'm sorry, back to the receiver job with the Saints. Speaking of the offensive line, uh, that's where I was, I was connecting the dots. The other staff change for the Saints, Dan Graziano of ESPN tweeted earlier... Um, the Buccaneers are hi hiring Kevin Carberry as their offensive line coach. He was an assistant OL coach with the Saints this past year in 2023. So Doug Marone had been fired. Now Kevin Carberry going to Tampa as their offensive line coach and Ronald Curry leaving the Saints to go be the quarterback's coach with the Buffalo Bills. As Nick Underhill, Cat Terrell, and others mentioned that Curry was afforded the opportunity and tried to be retained by the Saints to be the receivers coach, but instead instead decided to leave uh, for the opportunity there in Buffalo. A few things. Number one, I don't blame the Saints at all for trying to retain a talented coach. Ronald Curry is a guy in his early 40s, played the game at a high level, has been a member of this staff and a very good member of the staff, and such that he was strongly considered for the OC job and who everyone roundly agrees has a very bright future. He's already elevated from receivers coach to quarterbacks coach, and now he'll he'll go to Buffalo with another opportunity. So I don't blame the Saints for, for trying to retain Ronald Curry. I also don't blame Ronald Curry for acknowledging that he needs to go to a place where he can advance his career because he's not. it's clear he's not going to get that opportunity in New Orleans. You know, Curry moving away from Peyton, Carmichael, Breeze, the Saints, that's going to force him out of his comfort zone. That's going to expose him to new people, to new places, to new ideas, who not only will he be forced to change and become familiar with other places, but they in turn will become familiar with him. And that'll be a net positive for him. It's not dissimilar from what Eric Bieniemy had to do a year ago. Now, Bieniemy was the OC in Kansas City, but so much credit went to Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. It was almost like you if you want to be a head coach, you have to leave and go do this outside of their shadow. It kind of feels a little like that same premise anyway. It's not what and what, but it's similar with what Ronald Curry has to do here. Listen, the other part of this is like Clint Kubiak coming in. And... If you're going to bring a coach in to run one side of the football, look, Dennis Allen's your defensive coordinator, so bringing in Clint Kubiak as your OC, he's kind of like the head coach for the offense. He's running that side of the ball. And he deserves to have autonomy to bring his people in. Clint Kubiak comes in. Doug Marone's your offensive line coach. Not anymore. Doug Marone's fired. 
and he's bringing in John Benton. John Benton was there in San Francisco and has a long history with the Kubiak and Shanahan families. He knows him. There's a familiarity. Bring in your guy. Okay. That's part of it. Clint Kubiak comes in. He's going to want to bring in his own quarterbacks coach. That's completely agreeable. Curry, we'd love for you to stay on staff. How about going back to receivers coach? Not interested. Okay. I respect. Do what you have to do. And honestly, I think that point of view, that you don't have to be a coach. I think that point of view is relatable for almost any human listening to me right now. No matter what you do for a living, if you have ever been at a place where you've been passed over for a promotion at your at your job, you can understand what Ronald Curry's going through. Like this is relatable. You don't have to be a coach. It doesn't have to be the NFL. It's anything. Like what do you do? Are you in sales? Are you a manager? Are you a, a an attorney? Are you uh, where, wherever you work? Whatever you do. Have you ever been passed over for a promotion? Then you get it. It's like, okay, they like me, but they like me in my current role. And and I want more. So they're more than happy to keep me in my current role. But if if I'm if I've hit a ceiling of my growth here and I and I have more ambition and want more, then I gotta go. I gotta go somewhere where I can break through this glass ceiling and achieve more. So I I think. That's what Ronald Curry had to decide. Do you want to stay here in a lesser role or do you want to leave and try to pursue more professionally? And so he made that decision. So good for him. Like, it sucks as a Saints fan. Of course, you'd love to see a good young coach stay with the organization. But if you're not going to give him the growth opportunities that he's pursuing or coveting and he wants to go go pursue those dreams, then then you get it. You just wish him, thank him for his service. You wish him well and you bring in who's next. So I wish well for Ronald Curry. I hope it goes great for him in Buffalo, and I hope he gets his opportunity eventually to be an offensive coordinator, and I hope he crushes it. But I also think that if you're if you're really going to be giving Clint Kubiak the resources he needs, and you're going to give him autonomy to run his offense, to fix this thing, then you have to give him that autonomy without, without limitations and saying, you can have anybody you want except that guy staying a quarterback's coach. Well, no, no, no. If he's going to shoulder all the burden and the responsibility, then he's going to have autonomy to assemble his offensive staff how he wants. And so you're seeing that. So Ronald Curry out. He's headed to Buffalo to be their quarterback's coach. Um, Clint Kubiak come in. We'll find out who his quarterback's coach will be in New Orleans. But a couple more shakeups here on the Saints staff as uh, we're just a few days away from the Super Bowl. And after the Super Bowl, of course, the Clint Kubiak news can become official and the Saints can really get cracking toward reassembling and rebuilding this roster here. Uh, for 2024 and beyond. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.